Good afternoon, beautiful people. This is Adam Schumann joining you from Fatty Johnson's. Um, I was getting a little jealous of watching Steve and Mike make their cocktails, so I had to do my, my cocktail for the day. Today I'm going to be making a cocktail called the 188th Hour. Um, it was named after my 188th hour working in two weeks, uh, and this was the cocktail I happened to make on that hour, I guess. Um, it's probably the most complicated uh, cocktail I make as far as number of ingredients. Um, it kind of plays on a lot of different flavors and aromas uh, and qualities. Uh, to start with, our, our base is gin. We have two different kinds of gin. We have Plymouth, which is a classic uh, dry gin made in Plymouth. This is Brooklyn gin, newer gin to the market. Very, very floral gin. A lot of uh, aromas like kumquat. Uh, you get a lot of lavender on the back, a little bit like cocoa nib, and there's a lot of other botanicals used. This is Lillet Blanc. It's an aromatized wine, kind of similar to a vermouth. This is vermouth. This is Perucci. It is a uh, Spanish vermouth. Tastes uh, kind of like ginger snap cookies. Uh, I want it in my mouth right now. This is Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. Lagavulin, uh, very, very peaty, smoky scotch from the islands. And uh, this is allspice dram. So here we go. We're going to start by taking uh, one ounce of Plymouth. Follow that up with a half ounce of Brooklyn gin. Next we're going to go with Lillet Blanc. You having fun yet? Kate, are you having fun yet? Woo! Oh. Oh, yeah. Give it to me, Adam. Amaze balls! Uh, love you. when you say that. I know. I only say it because of you. All right. Um, when it comes to the uh, log of one, we're going to go like a scant quarter ounce. It's just kind of for a whiff of, of that peatiness, a whiff of that smoke. It kind of just gets you um, in your nose, like after you swallow, you're not quite sure what it was. And all spice ram is even less. It's like a couple of drops. This stuff is really delicious, but it can be very, very offensive if you use in excess. So it's really important that you use discretion when using something as powerful as all spice ram. And, and that's it. Um, we're going to go ahead and crack a few pieces of ice. Um, in addition to the ice, we're going to go ahead and we're going to twist one lemon directly into the drink. This kind of adds additional uh, brightness, almost acts as acidity, even though you're not going to get like you know the acidity that would come from uh, the actual uh, juice of the lemon, but really nice bright aroma. And we're go ahead and start. You can make this at home. It would cost you a lot of money. This is expensive. So is this. So is this. So, teach your own. There's people outside, they want to come in. You keep on knocking, but you can't get in. <laughs> And just in case you were wondering, the reason why one would stir a cocktail instead of shaking a cocktail, since it was asked on one of the other videos, there are several reasons. But I really do think in a cocktail like this, people are paying for the clarity of the cocktail. Um, there's additional air and like a cloudiness that comes from shaking. It's a really like violent act that takes place very fast. And by stirring, you really, really keep this really beautiful kind of clear color cocktail. And there it is, the 188th hour for that ass. 